I have taught Tai Chi at universities many years, or oh, almost 40 years, okay, in many countries. This is a textbook in English, also this Chinese version. And uh, I conduct seminars, you know, teaching in different continents. Uh, you can see this is Central America, Spain in Spanish, okay, and uh, South America too. And this is in Korea, uh, you can see. And uh, of course, uh, in Europe, everywhere. And what I've been introducing is Chang Star Tai Chi Chan, which is basically evolved from Yang style uh, in 1920s by my teacher, Chang Dongsheng. Uh, he's, the, he's got a nickname, the butter, flying butterfly. Uh, he's a famous uh, king of uh, Chinese gravity. Uh, 1933, he was all China champion. Uh, till 15 years later, he retired, he never lost the boat. So, uh, he taught me Tai Chi when I was his assistant in Central Polish University in Taiwan. And uh, I learned the whole form and application from him, including pushing hand and uh, all the drills. And those uh, will be material that I, I have, I'm going to introduce you, and you can find it from my YouTube your channel, my channel, channel, Dr. Wong's Kung Fu and Wellness channel. My purpose is let you use uh, this Chinese uh, martial art or, or movement arts to become a wellness uh, routine, okay? And Tai Chi is a concept for everything. So don't limit yourself uh, in any particular style of Tai Chi, fist form or any Kung Fu style or, or, or other martial art, Kung, Karate, Taekwondo, whatsoever. When you talk about in the young, Tai Chi, you always already refer to what? Offense, defense, combat. And your job is how can you handle the situation? That is your management. And the wisdom of that management will come from your study of Tai Chi philosophy and practice. So I have analyzed the Tai Chi important technique to be a post, you know, a story of a, uh, like a cartoon. Uh, you can learn the technique, follow the story. It's called the monkey learn Tai Chi, okay? And those just give you that, this analytical approach of Tai Chi. Don't be stick to any sequence, but learn just like a, a language, vocabulary, every word, and then you put together, become phrases. And then you learn a little bit grammar, and they start making your sentences, uh, sentence, and then later on you can write your stories. So that's called movement art the body expression, you know? And this is a, I was teaching in Sambaro, entire military Polish university, more than 1,500 people, including the president, the generals, and the soldiers, everybody, doing Tai Chi. For them, it's for Finnish also self defense. Okay, so we have a, a, univers a U.S. College Tai Chi Federation that organized teachers teaching Tai Chi in colleges including many experts and famous you know, uh, lecturers together to promote Tai Chi for wellness, for therapy purposes. And this is common trend. I mean, uh, you can learn Tai Chi for form or self-defense, uh, but the common goal is to achieve wellness and then learn the wisdom of life. Now, I'm gonna start introducing the standardized so-called simple of show form, Chen Yi Tai Chi by Chinese government, and the sequence is standardized, and the form can be expressed by different style of practitioner, interpreted in a different way. But the techniques selected are very, very easy to, uh, to get in and to accomplish. So that's why it's uh, popular. 19, let's see, uh, 1990, 11th Asian Olympic game, first time, Wushu event in this in Asia only became the Tai Chi event. This simple version of Shofu Tai Chi is one of the you know event. And in the open great, great opening ceremony in Beijing, fifteen hundred people perform this form. Half of them from Japan, half of them from China. They all feel honored to practice this practice Shofu Tai Chi in the great opening of eleventh Asia Olympic game together. Today there is what? The World Tai Chi Day. More than 100 countries.
practice Tai Chi, same thing at the same time, and then perform different one. But this form is the most popular. So I am going to introduce this form to you to pick up, and you can see all kind of uh, editions of a text film videotape. And this one is I've been teaching with my textbook and videotape, and uh, here I'm going to introduce you. You finish the whole form in four sessions. Today is the first session. Okay? There are 24 movements, but actually many movements are repeated. And uh, some of them were done left side, right side to make it balanced. And the difficulty, the degree of difficulty is progressive by increasing. So you can learn this with a very comfortable, you know, I mean, feeling that you are learning slowly, not to be challenged in the beginning, very hard one. And you do right side, left side, it's a benefit, you know, even. Okay, in the beginning, the first movement is prepared posture. You're gonna stand, I'm gonna face this way so you can see my movement here. You're gonna face to this 12 cup. And shoulder width apart your feet. And you gotta keep your shoulder relaxed, chin back. I look straight forward. Keep the tongue touched up a little for your mouth. Okay, and then feet parallel, toe point straight forward, and unlock your knee and fold your pelvis a little bit, tuck in your stomach. It's called a you know, alignment of your top to the table straight line. Okay, zhong zheng. Okay, it's called Chinese, means a righteous stance, posture. So you balance. And 50 50 weight distribution on both legs. Now, from now on, you're going to change, go into different stances. This is called horse stance, narrow one, natural. Then, in the beginning, you are going to uh, drive your energy from your stanton and breathe with the movement, breathe in. Raise your body a little bit and breathe out, sink, and then drop your energy through your arm to the fingertip and then breathe in. All right, and then bend your knee, low down your hip, drop, exhale, turn your toe to two o'clock. And then push your hip forward and then rotate your arm to make a circle. It's called embrace moon, okay, in front of your chest. Now, this is called cast stance, means what? This stance is just like a cap, empty, no empty way here. And then you roll down, and then reach out, big, okay? Next three, and then start bending your knee, and then shift your weight, idle palm, one, two, three, four, back. 50-50, palm face each other. That is what? Open, close, and open, and the eye of your hand, okay? For, so from here to here, this is called a slanting fly, you see? Like an airplane flying up, all right? And look here, and then you're gonna push your hip forward, close your leg, cast this again, and then rotate your arm, cross, inverse one again. Now to the corner, reach out again, but this time you're gonna be higher, flash. 50-50, turn, toe turn, toe turn, and turn here. This is called a partition of wire force is made, Push forward, close, and again rotate your arm. Every time you rotate your arm to make your palm face each other, look at palm and reach out. This third time, center, step forward, and then you will look forward and shoot your way forward, close your leg. Catch stance, now step back, line up the heels, landing, close your arm, spread. It's called what? This movement. It's called white crane spread wing. Okay? Like a grand spread wing. Uh, flying. And then this final this, huh? So that is four movements. 24 movements, you already got one six down. <laughs> you can see the first three are basically repeated. Right? So only two variety. Let's repeat again. Prepare the posture. Okay, and then stop. Breathing. Finger straight, not rigid, exhale, and embracement close, reach out, center this whole stance, and then this corner stance, and then pull up, cast stance, change, higher, two, party wise man, to your right, and then again, close, three, this three times, similar to your right, and then use the momentum, close your leg, 
and look full, step back, cross your arm, spray. This catch. Okay? And then breathe in, breathe out. I would say this like a sentence one. Uh, you put a some word together to make a sentence. Okay? That's on him. All right, now I'm going to go again continuously. So, if you try to pick out this form, you can sep you know, separate them into different sessions. I'm going to make it four sessions. So, the first session will be what? Six technique. Six times four is 24. And now you've got a what? A little four. Very, very easy. Now, they can be divided into different units. The first unit is this. Okay, this. You see that's behind? I'm what? I'm like a breast choke. Uh, swing, swing, swing. And then change into what? This way. You can inhale? This way. This is called cross arm. You can spray your hand like this. Okay, horizontal. You can spray your arm like this. That's vertical, right? And that is the difference between the two. This is a knocking somebody away. This is what? Blocking, okay, blocking up and down. Huh. They have all their purposes. Uh, you can use one technique to tend to all the situations, right? Now, the next one we're going to be doing a little bit different, but a little different one. It's called a brush knee twist step. Brush knee means if your eye stand on this posture, my hand go down, touch my knee, I need to go low, okay? It means I need to go spread wider. And I never what stick out my butt. I just keep my toes straight. So I have to go all the way down to here to what uh, to brush my knee, right? That means uh, your stays low. And then if I shift my weight to one leg and turn my toe and brush my knee, I'll be facing one direction. This hand is touching my knee. It's called brush my knee. And come back. Okay, now the other hand. Go down, brush my knee, face this way. This is called bow. This is called arrow. Bow and arrow stays. So one, down, brush. And this hand, down, brush. So this is a defense. Now defense. And in the meantime, the other hand will be offense. So if my hand cross, one hand go down to defense, one hand offense here. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, that is blocking and attack. So come back, block. Here, block, attack. So, I usually call this one as well, pitching the baseball. Pitch. Okay, this hand is keep on pitching the ball. Huh. So, you can easily remember, uh, this is pitching the baseball, okay? So, one, two, three. Now, go back, one, two, three. You will repeat this one three times in the form. And then you get to almost one third of the form. All right? Watch me. We already get to white crayon, white crayon, okay? Now, I'm gonna start off going forward, brush my knee with left hand. So what I did is what? Drop my right hand, raise my left hand and turn, and close it, this is called inverse moon, right? Now, stretch out, sink, shift away, and left hand, and then push. Look at this left hand, brush my knee, right? And then I will rotate my arm, Push my way forward and close and inverse on the other side. And two, push. Okay. And three, four, again, four. And then close your hand, cross your hand. All right. And that's it. For one third of the four. So you can see that there are movement being repeated. Here I repeat three times, brushing and twisting. If you are doing, not doing no steps, you'll be doing big 
Cross your hand and then go down hand and then hit one. And then go back to here and then here hit and then go back. Okay, that's how you get to analyze the movement. You cross and then one go down, one go up and then push forward. Okay, both brush knee, twist it. And then come back, cross, and then one go down, one go forward. And then cross. So that is what, that is the structure of the movement. With a footwork, it's getting a little bit difficult. But you can, you can manage it if you just want. Make the foot and hand work in what? In alignment, look. I am here, white press will be in, then this hand go down, this hand go up, body turn, one line. Okay, sink, one line, and here, go, one. Okay, and then go. This arm is separate, the turn, cross. And then sink, two, okay, and then last one, cross, three. And then finish up, go to the leg. This technique is called plan the video. Or you can say holding a guitar, playing the guitar. So you can do repeat it. One, guitar to left. Two, guitar to right. Can you tell? I'm holding a guitar. So don't do like this. Because this hand is here to protect your chest. This is protect your face. And this hand is by your elbow. So ready, close, open. Ready, close, open. In a martial art, this is very often used as partial. So up to here, you have finished one six, no, one third. All right, today, the first tape, I want you to just get to one third and repeat. Practice by yourself, follow the tape and, and look into the other tape I already uh, posted in YouTube. Then you see relations between them. Okay, but this one is showing you how you analyze technique, how you uh, put it together. Okay, one more time. This time we go continuously, okay? Ready? Exhale. Inhale. Go. Three times. And to the front. Here. Now drop. Go ahead, raise, embracement, sink. Brush knee, three step, brush step. The other side, brush knee, three step. Brush knee, three step. Step forward, close it. Stop. So, you can see the footwork has varieties. In the beginning, Horse stance, high posture, that's called regular horse. And then you go cast stance, and then you stretch out, then you go what? Big horse stance. Then you get into bonus stance, and then cast stance, and then stretch it out, horse stance, bonus stance, and then cast stance, and then reach out, horse stance, bonus stance, and cast stance. Okay? Now, Cast stands into bonus stands, and then into another, and another. Then close your leg. This is called what? Study 70 weight experience stands, it's called Shingy stands, okay? It's 70% weight on your back, front, 30. The heels also what? Always in alignment. Heels in alignment, body face the corner, okay? And then next class we'll be doing repose monkey. Repose monkey. Okay, with this stance. Keep on going. Four times. And now we'll be reaching to or uh, almost getting to half. So uh, I think the first section give you plenty of material to practice these stances. Cat stance, horse stance, big horse stance, bonus stance, and then Three thirty stance. Remember, the stances show the purpose of a technique. Okay, whole stance low, stable, but lose uh, poor mobility. Yeah, but powerful. All right, and the smaller one is 
both mobility but higher center. Okay, the main castings is totally way on one leg. That means your leg is a hit and kick, or you are going to jump. Yeah, and the 370 is actually most used in martial arts because they always what remain way on the back leg. So whatever they do, they always what reserve the power to attack or to block. And the other hand, the other leg can block, and the hand one middle section, one in upper section. So it's what it's. It is most of what use the fighting posture. Okay, that's called Sun Chi Bu. Okay, now I will encourage you to look at the other tapes I posted that demonstrated by my teacher. Uh, he was 75 or 4 around that time when he showed those movements. And then he passed away in uh, 78 when he got cancer. But you can see his physical situation is still good at the you know, later time of his life. And the most important is that he is living uh, proof that a martial top level practitioner can also do Tai Chi very gracefully. Okay? And those are drills are very important if you want to build the kind of potential to achieve you know, his level. So enjoy watching him. And it's a very precious, uh, uh, I would say, collection for most of martial arts people because not everybody get to see him or get to uh, practice with him. So I was lucky enough. I hope you can all benefit from watching that. So I will see you uh, in next one. Go to the session two. I divide into four sessions to help you to finish uh, this uh, show form. Okay, and then you can also go back to see my, my test video tape that has whole form plus applications. And this class so far is helping you to break it down, tell you how you convert stances, you know, how the posture was made. Okay, all right, I'll see you next time in session two.